Hello everybody and welcome to Spellweaver. It's a new free-to-play MMO card game. I, do you want? Can I call it that? I think I can call it that. Uh, I played absolutely none of it and I thought I would capture my first impressions. Well, okay, I, I played the tutorial. A very, 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 very quick tutorial. And uh, that's all I've got. And I played it a little while ago, so I don't even remember. But I figured, you know, a lot of you guys seem to be interested in card games recently, and I thought that I would go ahead and play this, and we can figure out together if it's worth playing. It's it's free, but is it worth downloading? We'll find out. I'm going to go ahead and play on easy quick, because I don't remember the rules. But I, you know, with a lot of these card games... Oh my goodness, this, this looks like something familiar but different at the same time. That's a very card game thing. Like nowadays, it seems it's very familiar, but very, very different. I, I kind of, I kind of like the uh, darker, serious, like almost magic, like well, Magic the Gathering style um, artwork going on. Let's see. Immediately, I noticed something very different down here in the bottom left of the cards. Uh, these little arrows above the attack and if I remember correctly I think that's like their speed so that's interesting that's a that's a very different mechanic also I believe oh man level plus one or mana plus one so all right well okay I'm just gonna keep my hand I'm not gonna mulligan it looks like we have a lot of cheap cost things but we'll just kind of figure things out here What's this? Why do I have this? Why do I have this already? What's going on? Alright, um... Sacrifice Spark of the Initiative, you have plus one mana this turn. Alright, so... It appears... Okay, okay. So these are like my, uh... My lands in Magic the Gathering. They're my resources. So I can either level up or add one mana crystal. And I see... I immediately assume... That this is over on the left of the card you see there's a one little spider symbol so that's these are all one level one cards that's my assumption and this I'd need to level up two times and I'd also have to level up a white one as well so I think it'd be a wise idea to oh and plus one card see that's a cool you need to level up to play any non shrine cards oh we're not even a level one yet okay so that changes things so now we're, level, we, we're up to level 1, so now we can play either of these. They're both the same, so let's play, them, play that one. I One thing that makes me very curious is why I have this. Maybe there's some factions or classes. And this is, this is a game that has completely different factions and classes, so there's like more like Magic the Gathering style where there's the different colors. I, I just know this because I picked this deck, this sort of... Uh, Dark vampire -y kind of deck. So, I know this. Oh man, I, I'm playing against the computer. I've got to remember. So that means they're going to go real fast. A creature gets minus 2 attack, minus 2 HP to the end of the turn. Um, okay, so we're both 1 out of 4 speed, so they'd hit each other at the same time. So should we... Should we upgrade, or should we... I think no. I think we want to go ahead and play this to get an extra mana. Because then in that case... Let's take a look at this, though. Flying. When Infernal Vultures enters the field, a hero decays four cards. What does that mean? Oh, man. Whole new card game. Whole new set of stuff to learn. But uh, to decay cards, put them from the top of your deck into your graveyard. Man. That seems really strong. For a two mana card. That seems like a really fast mill for, for two mana. Um, God, there's a lot. This Some of these cards seem like they... If, if this is anything to go off of, some of these cards look like they'll get pretty complex. Select a hero and a creature card in that hero's graveyard. Put that card on the bottom of that hero's deck. And a might emblem on infernal vultures. Like, ah, uh, what? A Might Emblem gives a creature plus one attack plus one HP. God, that, yeah, this is this is fascinating. I, I appreciate how complex it is. I I, I always like that. Um, all right. So, anyways, this is enough dilly dallying. 
Let's go ahead and put some noxious fumes on this fella. That way we can, um... Let's get him off the board. And then we will... St oh, wait, what, what's this? Eh, I think that's, uh, everything we're gonna do. I'm pretty interested so far. I, I'm, I'm always interested in figuring more out about any of these card games. Uh, one thing I will say is the next turn button is a little bit not obvious. It's not super, like, it's not super clear when it is or is not your turn. Alright, what the heck are you guys? Life bound. You gain one life for each point of damage dealt, so, like, life link. Um, summoned, as long as malicious attack is greater than one, it has plus one SP. I believe that is going to be speed, so... What? <laughs> Exchange. What's going on? You don't have a shrine card for the turn, so now that's a shame. Thankfully, we can still get one using Divine Offering. Alright, exchange a card from your hand for a chance to find a shrine among the top five cards of your of the deck. All cards. That is... You know, okay. Uh, kudos for this mechanic. They, uh... There's nothing more frustrating in games like Magic, and I think the, uh, this is something it, it tries to push. It's, um, there's nothing more frustrating than just never drawing mana, never drawing resources. So I think this is a good idea. We'll do it just be for the sake of doing it. Just, uh, yeah. That is interesting. I, I like that effect a whole heck of a lot, and we'll go ahead and do that. So use Divine Offering regularly when need in, a sh in need of a shrine. Okay, fair, fair enough. So we'll definitely do that first, whether or not we'll level up or play a mana, I don't know. I think we'll probably just play it for mana. Because then we can Noxious Fumes again. And we'll want to Noxious Fume this. Is this a game where, yeah, okay, so lowering their attack that much will kill them. Is this, is this all that this does? Yes, it is. There's no point to do it right now. But, uh, let's see. Oh, that's- I like this a lot. Um, when infected survivor dies, summon a zombie legionnaire creature onto the field. And then it has, uh, over on the right, it shows what it'll spawn. That's really neat. You know what? Uh, it's very- it's way too early to tell my opinion on the game. But I will say that it has a lot of, um, quality of life features that I do really appreciate. So far. Attack enemy hero with all of your creatures? I don't think so. I think we want... Oh, dang it! <laughs> I thought that it would go to an attack phase. You know what? I think we're still going to be totally all right. So this has speed of three. This is a mechanic that I'm, I'm interested in for sure. Um, uh, all right. Let's, um... Should we... I think we should divine offering. Because we're... Ooh, what's this? The enemy hero, playing the shrine for one mana also grants your hero a new skill. Soul prison, the enemy hero sacrifices a creature. I mean, there's no... Oh, okay, oh, interesting. So we can either choose to level up or instead of gaining one mana and a skill, or wait, <laughs> rather, instead of gaining one mana and a card, we can also gain one mana or and a skill instead. Um, that's pretty cool. Currently, we don't, uh, have any skills. But also, we aren't a high enough level, so... Maybe we ought to pass on that for now. We have three mana. Well, I think we ought to... Uh, I think we ought to level up, even if we won't be able to... So can we play the... Oh my goodness, this is so... There's so much stuff to, to read. Select the target. Well, I want them, of course. Oh, I guess it's not of course. That's interesting. I, I mean... Oh god, there's so much to talk about. But the reason I think that's interesting is... A lot of the times, these... These, um... Zombie-type decks... You play stuff out of your graveyard and things. So I guess you, it'd be, uh... That'd be the time you want to do that. Okay, so let's attack that for sure. Let's... 
Oh, you know what? Let's sacrifice this. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> Great. So I wasted it, basically. How good is this? Enters the field along with a summon militia creature. Has plus one attack, plus one HP for each soldier on your front line. Is this a soldier? That is a soldier. Let's, um... Not attack this yet, then. It's gonna go down. It's gonna get weakened. Take this, Selexa. Bank. Bank. I love it when cards do that as well. It's... It's the little things. So we get another uh, zombie legionnaire because we sacrificed this thingy right here. What's it? Infected survivor. That's pretty good value, I think. Yeah, that seems like it's really good value. Why wouldn't you want that? I don't know. Maybe there's a reason. So we might as well... Oh, it's still our turn, so we will play that. Lifebound, is that a soldier? No. God, they... They... Play you so quickly. Uh, can we block with this, even though it's... Uh... Doesn't look like we can block. Let's figure out why. Mm hmm. I can block with that. This is the only one I can block with. I might as well block with it, because it'll come back as a stronger creature anyways. Is health permanent? It appears no. Mesmerizing spirit. Oh man, you know what? I don't really want to do this. Oh, I just realized something. Um, there's two lines. There's a support line and a different line. So I think I played my creature in the in in an incorrect place. Uh, let's add a corruption level, I, or, uh, whatever. A level. Because then we can play this next turn, potentially. Mesmerizing Spirit, when it enters the field, enemy hero discards a card. Oh, okay, so it looks like this is automatically a support creature? I don't know. Interesting. Uh, should I attack directly with this? Or should I attack that? I'm gonna attack directly, because maybe I can start to buff it up soon, and I'll just attack with that. And the rest goes to face. I also like that button right there where... Oh! You can choose to block that. You can choose... You can block flying? Why can you block flying? That's a bunch of hoo-ha! What is flying, then? What what even is it? If we can't... Can attack and block from the support line. Okay! So it's not like in Magic the Gathering where... You can... You know what? I think that's good. <laughs> I think it makes a little bit more sense. You can attack and block from support line. I don't... I think that means that... The support line cannot be directly attacked. So so he can't go and attack this with this. But I can attack this with mine. Like, it's, it's up to me. Because it's in the back line. Interesting, interesting. So yeah, it's ranged. What's ranged now? Deals damage in combat before non-ranged. No matter what. That's a, okay. So it's first, ranged is first strike. A creature gets minus X attack and minus X HP. Another creature gets plus X attack and plus X at HP until the end of the turn. Where X is your corruption level. Three. So minus three, minus three. And one of mine get plus three, plus three. I think we're going to um, attack with everything. Is this an instant thing? 
We'll find out. We'll find out. So what we'll want to do... Okay, well, we can't. All right, I was thinking I could maybe play this at that point, because then I could, uh, well... Dang, oh, dang. Till the end of the turn. Well, I can basically just straight up get this guy. It's it's maybe a waste of value, but because um, this isn't going to get the attack. Well, if I would have known, I would have definitely done it beforehand, so I would have got more damage off on her face. Her life total is at 13. Okay. What's this? Enemy level 1? Are all these level 1 cards? Dang. I'm having a good time with this. I'll be 100% honest. Um, I was not expecting a ton. Because the, these free-to-play card games, I don't know. It seems like they can be done very, very poorly. And I, uh, I'm, having, I'm having a good time. That's a big deal. Let's go ahead and add um, one mana. Because then we can play this guy. This dude, right? So the white symbol over there it must be a wild card. So it can be whatever color. When Dread Knight enters the field, move two enemy creatures to the support line. Sure. How about this one and this one? So they can't attack. They can't block. And also this one can't attack. Can he move them back up to the front line? That is, uh, that is the question I have. I feel like we're schooling Alexa right now. <laughs> Heavy infantry. What? What's going on? What's going on? Heavy infantry. It's oh, it's just a creature. That's just a creature. Attached to a creature, blessed creature has plus two attack, plus two HP. So is a blessed creature? Is that just uh this yellowy white like this fa that faction? That's my assumption. All right, so we got another shrine here. Um, I think it makes sense to play one extra mana. Spell. So I don't know if inst instance, like how inst there's instance in Magic the Gathering, which is a spell that you can play at any time. So like you can attack and then you can be like, boom, I want to play this right now. And you're like, come on. Like, I don't know if that exists in this game. Which uh, might be good, might be bad. I don't know. Should I debuff something? Or should I... Uh, at the start of your turn, put a creature card from your graveyard on the bottom of your deck. If you can't, decay three cards and exhaust... Huh. I have a creature in here, don't I? Yeah, I do. So I have five mana. Let's go for it. And then... Oh, select the target. What? I... Select target. Oh! Oh, for the vultures. I thought it was for, um, for the insatiable ghoul. I was like, I didn't think any of my vultures died. Oh yeah, one of my vultures did die. Oh my goodness! You're one of those! That always seems like the the holy, the righteous class. Put a creature on the on the bottom of your deck. Uh, I think I want... This Legionnaire makes the most sense, doesn't it? Because it has the most value? Right? I think so. So we can Divine Offering and get rid of a card, and then we can play a mana card and draw a card. That sounds... I want to give that a shot. As much as that, I probably should keep that right there. I, uh, I'd like to do that. Just because I want to see how powerful it feels. That feels a little powerful. Um, we'll pop that on you. And let's spread the love. Let's, um, let's get some strength in various areas, because 
if you're gonna if I'm gonna attack with all of these, you want the damage to be spread out so they can't just block it all. And then mill more cards. Milling cards is when you make them discard and try to win that way. Let's just go all out. All right. I don't, I mean, we can't do anything. The, the fact that it lets me choose to do something there leads me to believe there are spells that you're able to play instantly. So he's, she's only got two health left. What are you doing? Is it still my turn? Oh, it's still my turn. What's this line about then? I guess it was just a graphical bug. Oh my goodness. Deadly can't attack. Can I block? Can I block? Oh my god, my mouse. I can block with you. I think that's worth it. Save myself from four. I mean, I haven't taken any damage yet, but still. Alright. Put a creature on the bottom of your deck. Um, when this enters the field, enemy discards a card. Should I do that, or should I maybe... That's not gonna... Give us that much uh, of an increased chance to win. So let's go ahead and. I mean, we're probably going to. Or we're probably going to win anyways. But put a creature card from your graveyard into the battlefield. I don't know. Sure. Can we make him? There. Mill more cards. I mean, we're not going to win via that way, anyways. We couldn't attack with anybody that turn, but, uh, are we g Is this the Alexa comeback? Oh, we can throw an additional... ...block. I'm... Oh. Creatures on the support line are protected from attacks. Yeah, okay. Oh, whoops. Why can't I... I guess I would rather uh, trade with that, yeah. You know what? I can take f I can take four damage. I think I want another body on the field. I'm willing to sacrifice four health for another another body because I think all I need is two damage to make it through. That's all I need. Uh, maybe we will win by milling. All right, one man and a card. Just something. All right, that's uh, that's all we can do. So let's just attack with everything. Here's hoping, or we could n focus down this threat. That might be a better idea. Oh God, what? Oh God, what? When an attack is declared, I got to if oh. That is something I should have read. That is really effective. We threw, boys. Should I have done that? Probably not. We threw, boys. Uh, what? Wait, what's this? Return a creature that died from the graveyard onto the field. It's not letting me see what it is anymore. Under your control. Okay, well. I want this because I want to draw a card, actually. Please. No! Stop that! Guys, I think we I think we lose now. I got cocky. She's up to nine health again. We are so dead. We gotta block or we lose. So let's read the cards. As one is first, long as enemy hero controls a spell, whatever. Okay. Well, we just blocked something then. Ow! <laughs> I got cocky. I'm gonna lose my first game against an easy bot. Well, I'm glad we have a zombie legionnaire on the field. 
Please. I'm gonna throw this away. We have no more shrine cards. That's okay. Yeah. Pack it up, boys. We're out of here. Don't block this. Also deal seven more random damage. And that's all that's all we need. Nope. Well then. I think uh I think this is it. Play spells or activate powers. I can't. Oh wait. I guess I could have activated that. Oh well. Oh well. Fame multiplier. I don't even, I don't know what happened. But, uh, what kind of options do we have here? Let's just, tutorial, achievements, leaderboards. There's friendly games, ranked games, trials. Uh, build your deck by drafting cards. Okay, so it's like, in a, like an arena. I like that. Decks. Fair enough. All right. Wow. I you know what? I I'm having a good time with it. I I recommend this actually. I mean, it is free game. If you if you saw it and it seemed fun to you, you're looking for a like a more I don't know, like a like another card game is in a similar vein to Magic the Gathering that you can play online that has all this all these features and uh, a lot of quality, like really nice quality of life elements. I, I'm having a good time with it. Spellweaver is free on Steam. Go check it out if you want. You saw the video, you can figure out if you like it or not. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's this? Rare quest. Defeat Frenzy Gobo. Okay, hold on. There's some PvE elements as well. Let me just, uh, Make sure that goes out there. So, hey, even cooler. But, yep, that about does it for this video here. Leave a like if you like. Don't if you don't. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.